Hi, here's another Lego Ninjago set. It's called the Final Flight Destiny Bounty and it comes with 1,253 pieces. It's recommended for ages 9 to 14. It has 9 minifigs and it's set number 7, 0, 7, 3, 8. And the Halloween special! Here's the actual Destiny's Bounty itself. We'll just go front to back. On the tip of this, you see you got a huge tunnel draft, which is actually a, a ship mass. Um, and it actually looks like a tunnel minus this block piece, which which they had to attach sails on it or whatever. But but the head, unlike the older version of Destiny's Bounty, is completely brick built. The head is pretty nice looking. I won't say I don't like is when they go from the smooth to the blocky. But nice choice of stickers on this head. Three stickers, one on each piece of the main shaping, and and they think they look decent, but. But you can open up the mouse to get some kind of tromping action. You can also open up the bottom draw, which has the tr the transparent red tooth piece there, which which is almost exclusive. But and and you got an illusion of an anchor here, but there's no actual anchor. That's one of the things that's missing from the ship. Uh, but I think they really could have put an anchor and some less detail into these little compartments here, which you can open up and you find something stored in them. One of them has a silver katana in them, and the other one just has a city-style crowbar. You also have some shooters off to the side, and I'll show you how those work a little bit later on, because uh, now I can't get the shots. And the center shaft there is a sail, but first I'll tell you, I'll tell you what I think this thingy is. I think it's a, a engine, but the engine pods are supposed to be back there, and I think that's a little seat you can sit on, or maybe the engine part of the anchor, and this and the front deck here has a lot of de. I don't have a lot of detail, but I but, but that's actually good to me because then you can put more figures on there and have fun. For example, I'll just get one real quick, so you can put one here. You can put one there. And you can, whoops, and you can put many more in this deck, but it's kind of hard to snap them all just because of the ninja's backpacks. And and there's also some other details on the side of the ship. You see you got those fire sword and some just random detail, two stickers. There are one here and one on my side. And, and the front deck really has a lot of space, but only two studs on the side though. You get one to two of these little printed control panels which I suppose are for controlling the angle of the sail. I'll show you that a little bit later on. And and beyond that you see a little water bucket here in the ladder get into the cabin but I'm kind of skipping. So you got these rails on the side now and, and and you also have a really nice printed piece here but these sails are plastic and uh, and, and I'll tell you about that a little later on as well. And, and these engine paws kind of look pretty nice. And, and they also have an action, but I'll also show you that. But first I want to show you the, the inside of the cabin. To, to reveal, review that, just open up the, the roof, like I said when I reviewed the box. And inside, I can't really see inside there, but I'll try to get you some angles. And you got a rat and some cheese up there. And, and the end. And the engine pods are kind of blocking the, the view of the windows. That, that's a little bit awkward. And what's also awkward is the Dillion try to cover up these windows and your guns can shoot right in. Another weakness here is, is these doors where you can just open them up. You can open them up, I suppose, or for loading in weapons or something because you can't fit a figure with, even without a weapon or anything. This is a plain figure it doesn't fit there without pulling it out. I'll show that later also. Here's the action feature of this set. The first thing is pretty nifty because it's pretty well hidden but it looks kind of awkward from below there because you can see a little bit of guns there and a, and a, and a motorcycle chassis and the upper side of a motorcycle and I'll show you what that's about right now. You can just op pull this whole thing out. It's your the new technique that was using the new technique that's first introduced with the Thunder Raider set which which they use these two clips into these two ratchets that's a really nice technique but I don't think that's really necessary right now right anyways this is actually transforms into a, a, a air bike and workshop first step is to bring this little hood piece up which is previously kind of into the, the roof of the thing and by the 
the the roof of the str the the cabin and by the way these just fell off but but then you open up the side walls and they're, they're using a smart technique to keep them from going they're not going anymore because they use two of these same angled pieces to keep this one from going i think that's a really smart technique but back on the disc you see you got the air bike in the center there and you got a bunch of tools and the air bike is actually removable and could put a figure down there i'm not going to show you that because i have to reach all the way across but but I think it looks a little empty, but and if they use actual pieces, it won't be able to fit it into there and it doesn't fit in with the whole sky theme of this thing. And this thing is actually a printed piece, I'll tell you why. Because these pieces are just scratching up against there and if it was a sticker, it would just scratch up, but it was a, luckily it's a print so that wouldn't happen. And that, that's a pretty smart choice. Action feature the sail mechanism, which is pretty nifty. You can. This is actually a lever there, and right now it's all folded up. That's you can't bring them any more together just because of this. Then it will kind of go under or above. But then you can affect the angle by pushing this. You can kind of go a side sideways range there, like that, which looks pretty good. And by the way, the sail just got caught up in there. Or you can lay it down all the way like that. Which actually is the best look for me. And if you want to let it go real fast, just push on this and it'll look go. But a lot of times, some of this will get caught. Like these plastic sails are pretty unnifty, so so they'll always get caught up somewhere. And they'll always try to find a way to jam. And these plastic sails are really cheap, and and they don't, and they just kind of they're kind of they're just don't fit, fit in with a mechanism that's underneath up everything, which is just. All these Lego Technic lift arms and with and pins that, that create some that create a Lego mass kind of thing, and but that just doesn't that doesn't really work out with with how with these plastic sails because they're really just not good, and they're always trying to find a way to get caught up and they really don't like their choice of all this stuff. They this stuff could be covered up to make it look a lot better, but I take it as it is. Feature the the engine pod transformation feature, but before I show you that, I need to show you a small action. By the way, the draw just went up, and the way you do that is just is just lifting up the whole thing, and, and this thingy will fall down. And that's actually a handle you can hold on to. Right now, my Halloween costume one, so it's a little difficult, but you can do it like that. But this part really needs to rest on your forehand, but. The, and if you just let go, that whole thing will fall. So just this thing is a little stupid, but I, I like just holding it like that. But that's kind of get in contact with this active feature, which I'll show you right now. It works like this. Is that nice? That is so good. And it feels smooth. But earlier on, when I talked about the box, I, I said it could be get stuck really easily. Well, if you press your upwards i'll just put it down but if you push this thing upwards the maybe the whole thing will break and you, and cause the thing to fall and you maybe and you may even have to rebuild this thing so that's a little awkward and on the uh, and by the way when i was talking about the roof i forgot to mention that this could be just part of the the roofing sculpture or you can think of it as being a balcony we can, can stand a figure up there if the figure have, has all those that that big packs there you can only fit one, but if, if your figures don't have that ninja big ninja sword packs, you can fit. You can just barely squeeze two, and you can even square squeeze three if you put a one up there. But that's unsafe. And also, I mentioned that this can shoot well. I haven't pulled that out, but I'll show you how they work right now. Just get two of these little shots, and you can. Load them in sideways. This is just those spring loaded shooters sideways. And by the way, they didn't attach any swings onto these harpoons, so that's an excellent choice. They work better than the norm. And the way they shoot them, if you have them out, you can just press on them sideways. But right now, when it's in, you have to lift up the roof, and you got these little triggers, and just press one of them, bam. Press the other one, bam. This set also includes these two buckets, 
This one has a recolor of the bucket piece, which is normally darker. You got a lot of these silver studs. I took three out, and I'll show you what that's all about later on. Hello, and you also got a, a, a cut lace in there, a pirate's hat, and a broom for just for mopping the ship because it's their ninja's home. And, and, and this black treasure chest. Opens up inside there, you'll find a, a coffee mug or a tea mug, a, a golden kettle, and some steam that I can put in there to make it look hot. But I think they shouldn't put the steam in there because that kind of fakes pr perspective or whatever you want to call that. And back to the Destiny's Bounty, I, I mentioned that these silver studs are for something. Well, you can just load these up here. Load this up. Give me a little second. And when you load them, and when you load them up, this is actually a, a trigger there. But the control panel up there is kind of awkward because you figure out to stand way up there to control it, and that ends just a little bad. I, I think they should give you a one-piece panel on, on this level or something like another of these pieces. That would make a lot more sense. But the way this works is just you you, you just push on that, and all three studs shoot out. Wait, just here's some extra news about the ship. I like how these are hinged up, this got up again. Like, they just use these hinges to get that nice angle, I like it. But this, uh, not so much. The other thing I wanted to mention is, is that, that this piece is actually a samurai horn piece and these are the are not the regular warm gold they're the metallic gold and it's almost exclusive i think you can only get it in one other set which is more expensive so this is the cheapest way to get it and this piece is also gold these are also these this thing is also gold plates and these are a recolor of the the normal barrels bad guys in the set get a, a ghost dragon and this is the biggest one of all of them in this wave that the a dragon isn't the main thing of the set this is a, of course smaller than the moral dragon which i reviewed previously and and there's a, this has a decent amount of posability the head doesn't really look that great at first i didn't know what was the eyes i saw these holes and there were the eyes and that could not be done a lot better i think the best way is that add a piece down here and then add another piece down there but that was taking more parts and, and made the whole thing look a lot bulkier so i like it the way it is you can also open up the jaw which is pretty main but I, once again i don't like how they go, went to the went from the smooth to the the blocky that kind of bugs me but i do like how they got these i do like how they got these though these chains really affect the tightness of this thing you see you got some ball joints here you, you can there's actually a swivel in the center that's done by gear down there and and this ball joint is actually a different kind of ball joint than the norm and, and this and th there got two ball joints so you can get a lot of posability but these chains really tighten up this thing and make the whole thing look bad and these claws look bird inspired and the head kind of like is bat inspired just kind of a mix mix of animal inspired thing but these wings are pretty nice they use this be colored up the tiger's mobile command flame pieces which i reviewed a lot earlier on and these are not movable but the back one can swivel to change this uh, change a little bit of the look but the front one is fixed this these are also on the ball joints the legs are on ball joints here they're the ball joint here these spikes are added on for decoration but I don't know why they didn't use a, a, a more specialized piece and cut off these because I think the best thing they could have done is move not movie accurate and movie accurate and put it, something on there to make it look like more bulk and padron and such. The tail is fully articulated. You can pose it all sorts of different ways. You can even reach down on the ground level, sort of. And. And here you can see the tail more clearly. These are shoulder pod ones with done with these green pieces, light green. And you can get easily get a walking pose here, but that that does not look good. And that looks kind of doll healthy. Mm, nope. Nope. Here are the first few a lot of figures in this set. 
Left to right, Lloyd, Ko, Sensei Wu, Nia, Moro, Gotar, and Bancha. All has pretty good weapons. I'd say Lloyd and maybe and maybe Moro have the least interesting weapon just because they're only katanas, but the rest of them are pretty nice. I love Ko's weapon and Sensei Wu's weapon, especially Bancha's weapon. That was so good. But all of these figures are kind of cheesy in some way to me. And by the way, I got Nia as her this hand. That hand, she kind of had a little separate, it was really loose. So I had to not touch that hand. But unfortunately, all the weapons are held in that hand. So I had to hold, she had to hold that weapon in the other hand. I'll show you. I'll take everything off right now. So I now take enough every single foot only for the good guys because the bad guys are kind of lacking in detail and such. And you see that the three figures on the left have hair. So Lloyd and Ko and Nia have their hair which look decent. Sensei Wu doesn't because that would take a lot of effort into molding. But and on the back of these you can more clearly see the ninja. I, I really like Nia's print because it's a crispy new print. And I'll bend Moro's cape up so we can see it, but that's damaging the piece because unfortunately Moro isn't using the new flowing cape that's I, I believe is, uh, for, is only at the elves and Avengers seam, mostly at the Avengers seam and and all the and, and the ghost leg feet the the minifigs the no counts they don't really count as the proper minifigs but but they look pretty good. These are very similar. Oh, let's just knock that one off. But again, the weapons really stand out more than the actual figure. Too. Mini figs are a soul archer, uh, and left to right, a soul archer, spider, and two screamers. I didn't use any clear stands because that would make me go upstairs and get them from my Lego collection. But but the screamers really don't lack in stuff and I this is the first time I mentioned that I don't really enjoy getting the, any of these screamers but they're kind of cool characters and this one had a, a bundle of dynamite and a jack and a saw weapon and the other screamer had a banana and a, and a jack and, and spiders name is actually S-P-Y-D-E-R not D-E-R not S P. I D E art and that's kind of artificially made, but all of them are cool characters to get for sure. And on the back of these figures, sorry, just knocked off the screamers because I don't have the clear stance. On the back of these figures, spiders print is exposed, and the soul archers. I'm not gonna show you that because that will take up more time. I don't, I don't want this video to last too long.